Hello, I'm Svetlana Drabatenko, and I invite you to the lessons of English. Progress, nature, art. These are the topics to be discussed. Zeno, FC, IELTS. These words won't frighten you after our lessons. And the topic we start our course with is science. At the first six lessons, we will talk about computers and technology, learn how to write a problem-solution essay, acquire skills and strategies that will help you in exams. So, welcome to the first lesson. Today, I'll share with you some life hacks about the first task in the NO exam. It's a listening task with six short conversations. Three of them are with pictures, and the other three without. What should you start with? It's vital to read and analyze all the given information before the recording starts. Having done this, you will be better prepared to catch the right answer. So, take a look at the first task. What is the keyword in the question? The keyword is the most important word or words in a sentence or question. Here it's receive. Let's underline this word, not to forget it later. Now, let's compare the three pictures. Do they have anything in common? Ignore this. Focus on their differences. What words might you hear in the recording? Remote control? Batteries? Right. Listen to the first 26 seconds of the recording to check how this live hack works. 1. So, have you decided? Would you like the 37-inch flat screen or the 41-inch flat screen TV? I think I'll go for the 41-inch. All right. We'll add a remote control that you can program for use with all your devices. Oh, that will come in handy. And I'll throw in a packet of 12 AAA batteries. No need. I've got plenty at home. Thank you. Ready for another useful tip? That is, when you listen, cross out the wrong options and tick the right one. Don't leave it for the very last minute. Better do it immediately. It'll let you take control over the situation. You know that you can make all the necessary marks on the task sheet, don't you? Now, analyze the other two tasks with pictures in the same way. Then listen and choose the proper options. 2. Hey Mary, I tried calling your mobile all morning, but it was off. Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine, but my phone wasn't working this morning. Oh? What was the problem? Well, I dropped it in a puddle as I was running to catch the bus. Did the screen break? No, but the phone wouldn't turn on, so I thought maybe the water damaged the battery. I had to find an electronic shop so they could replace it. And did they? Actually, they checked the battery in another phone and it was still working. So the technician told me to put my phone in some rice to help dry it out, and a couple of hours later it was fine. 3. Is your suitcase ready? Yes, yes, stop asking. Are you sure? Have you got your passport, money, tickets, phone, iPod? Of course, I've packed everything. And your charger? I'll use yours. No, you won't. I'm not going to spend my holiday fighting with you about who gets to use it first. Fine. I'll go look for it. What about earphones? Earphones? Oh, here they are. I put them in my bag instead of in the suitcase. Now, let's find out how to do the part without pictures. First, find the keyword in the question and underline it. It's profession. Pay attention. The question is in the present tense. It's a fact. Read the options. Which words might you hear about each of these jobs? Remember, all of these jobs will be mentioned. Not directly, but nonetheless, 
something will be said about each of them. Be ready for this and don't jump at the first heard option. So, make your predictions, then listen and choose. 4. Well, I was searching the market for a waterproof watch to wear while scuba diving. But they were so expensive and had so many features. And I thought, wait a minute. I bet there's a whole lot of people out there who do water sports and don't want to spend a fortune on a fancy watch when all they want is to know the time. I then sat down and designed something as simple as possible and asked a friend of mine who is a scientist to help me test it in his laboratory. We tried a few different designs until I had exactly what I wanted. And now, here we are, selling them around the world. 5. Dorian, please pick up your phone. It's time we talked. I can't keep leaving messages on your voicemail. This is getting crazy. You have to talk to me at some point. Look, I'm outside your door and I can hear your ringtone. It means your phone is inside, which means you're at home too. Please answer the door. I've been sitting in the hallway for an hour now. I'm really sorry about what I said. I didn't mean it. Can't we just... 6. I'd like to make a complaint. I'm not happy with the phone I bought online. It arrived on time, but the camera doesn't work and there's no case included, as was promised. I'd like a full refund so I can go to a shop and find exactly what I'm looking for. So, today we learned how to do the listening task 1 in the no exam. Let's recap. First, underline the keyword in the question. Second, find the differences in the pictures. Third, predict possible words. Number four, cross out the wrong options. And the fifth, tick the right one. High five. Need to review technology vocabulary? Scan the QR code in your materials and find plenty of words and various tasks to practice them. And our lesson is over. Stay tuned and see you soon.